another video about homosexuality and Christianity. Um, I want to make clear that homosexuality is not something um, that people outside of those who are born again need to worry about. It is an issue between born again Christians and born again Christians. And uh, I have used this, this example before, but it's like, you know, if, if, if you're, like, so let's say you're, you're a kid, you know, maybe you're six years old, and then your, your, your father, your mother, wants you to really understand and really drive home the fact that you don't, you know, that you have to drive, at least in this country, in the United States where I'm living, you have to drive on one side of the road. You have to drive in this country on the right side of the road, and you have to stop at a stoplight. And that's fine if the kid wants to learn it, but it doesn't apply to the kid. Okay? Um, there's no use teaching rules that don't apply to people as if they apply to people. If the kid doesn't drive, he doesn't need to know the rules of driving now on the road. However, once the kid learns to drive, he hopefully he'll see. You know, he may have to learn the rules just like a, 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 a born-again, newborn Christian would as to why we follow those rules. Now, those rules are made by man as opposed to rules that are made by God. You don't, you know, Paul would say, you don't say to a non-Christian, okay, these are rules you need to follow because the first thing is to be born in Christ, into, into Christ, to be born into Christianity. Those rules don't apply to those who are not in Christ. So as to single out um, homosexuals is irrelevant. People in the world live as the people of the world. And the people of the world's father, you know, as Jesus would say, is the devil. And people of the world, as most Christians, just about, you know, most so-called Christians, um, many people would preach against this. You know, it would make me, I, I hate to say it, but it would make me question the Christianity um, to preach against this because it applies within God's people and only within God's people. To broadcast that out is not relevant. It's just not relevant. Um, when, when the Father, when, when God the Father brings someone to Christ, um, to Jesus Christ, then it's good to understand what God wants you to follow. But the point is whether you're on the path as a friend, as a, a, a an associate who was more mature than me at the time, uh, told me Mark Strom was his name, and um, I figure there are a lot of people out there with that name. But um, <clears throat> he said it's whether you're on the path or not on the path. If you're driving down the road, then you need to learn to follow the rules of the road made by man, and and, and I'd say fall fallible rules. It is more important for people to understand the good news in Christ rather than, you know, as, as people will sometimes go as far as saying, you know, you're going to hell if you don't stop, you know, doing, you stop, don't stop participating in homosexuality. There are many people out there that don't understand that, you know, as I would believe, there are people aren't born that way. <clears throat> they, um, they need to know who Christ is before you ever get into the details. It's like t telling somebody they must take communion when they're not even a Christian. What's the point? Um, and a born-again Christian beyond that. You know, it's like anything in life. You learn how to do it because that's the way it works. Um, cooking, fixing a car, whatever it is, you know, planting a garden as I've done. You learn the rules because that's the way it works. It's a pattern of life. Christianity is a pattern of life. And when you see that pattern of life, some people can't even see a garden. You know, they might not know about gardening, but they can see a garden. But some people can't even see 
I mean, most people can't even see, whether in the United States or whatever, what, uh, any other country, uh, what fallen Christ really is. And and the, so the, the, the you know, the question, you know, this may be considered to be a, a misuse of the term, but the question is qui bono or qui bono? Who benefits? Why, you know, what? how would I benefit in following Christ? What exactly is Christ? Is he someone that hates homosexuals? Is he someone that wouldn't receive homosexuals? Sure he would. But people don't see even, you know, as I've got out here on my patio, a garden, you know? You can, if you show a child a garden, he might think it's neat, but he doesn't know how it works. But people outside of Christ don't even understand whether they claim themselves to be Christians or not, um, how Christ works. So then, you know, people are confused. Well, why would God tell people that homosexuality is wrong? I don't see that. Someone would say, I don't see the point in that. I would say, if you're in that situation where you say, well, I don't understand why someone would say, Christian, you know, homosexuality is wrong. You know, um, I'd say you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. First, you understand Christ. Then you can then you can fill in the fill in the fill in the um, um, fill in the dots or, or, or fill in the fill in the you know fill in the, fill the, fill the rest in. It's like if you've got a uh, you know one of these connect the dots puzzles and you connect the dots and then you have a picture. But until those dots are connected and those dots uh, do not directly are not directly related to homosexuality. Um, but then you see, um, and once again, um, being, being a born again Christian means that, that you either would do or understand most people who are born again Christians understand. And as I've said, I believe most people on YouTube who say they're, um, Christians and even who say they're born again Christians are, pardon me, but full of shit. They don't know what it means to follow Christ. They know what it means to follow a religious system. But Christians, true Christians, are a minority, and everybody thinks they're in that minority, and they're not. Once you understand, it will quickly become clear to you, you know, it will quickly become clear to you, once you understand what fallen Christ is, then you understand how homosexuality relates to it as a, as a, you know, as a, as a minor a minor part of Christianity. Jesus Christ is far too big to either, in Christianity, to either say homosexuality is unimportant or homosexuality doesn't need to be dealt with. Yes, it is important. It does need to be dealt with. But in the scope of, of who Christ is, it's more important to focus on who he is and our relationship to him. Then the rules become, cl become clear. When you don't know Christ, you're dealing with the wrong issue. Paul went to Athens and he didn't, and he dealt with it with these with these Greeks, and and the Greeks were they're not bad or good or I mean they were just people just like you and me, and they were interested in philosophy and they wanted to learn new things, you know they were they were philosophers, and Paul went with them to them to philosophize with them, um, that was after. I believe that was after Plato and Socrates. Those were about in the 200. I say about was it BC 200? You might somebody might correct me, but it was before Christ that Plato, Socrates, all those people lived. But they still went along to learn about different things and new philosophies. Paul went to them not to preach to them about homosexuality, not to say, you know, and neither did Jesus, not to say, well, if you're, you know, if if you're participating in a homosexual relationship, then you're, you know, then you're going to go to hell. First of all, that's not even true in Christianity. Once you become a Christian, it becomes clear to you what you must do. And it's natural. You know, um, the issue is, is preaching Christ. The issue is not homosexuality. And, I, and I've said before, you know, just kind of clarify this video, just kind of clarify. Um, the issue must remain the issue. The issue is not people in the world, and the issue is not even their sin or their behavior. The issue is Jesus Christ. Then, that then the other issues open up and become clear. When you're following Jesus Christ, you know what's right and wrong. And you do what's right. You don't need to have that pummel down your throat because you're going to desire to do what's right. A little guidance and clarification that being a Christian and Christ brings 
makes the other issues clear to you, but they don't apply to the world in general. And it's, I'll tell you, it's, it's damn wrong that people are preaching about, um, you know, oh, you know, if you, if you don't practice, start practicing homosexuality, or don't stop practicing homosexuality, you go to hell. The point is, you know, Jesus came to benefit us. And if you follow Jesus, you'll receive a benefit. And if you don't want to follow Jesus, that's fine. Life is a long time, I mean, you know, for us, for, from our perspective, from, you know, at the end of your life, it's pretty short. But you have a whole life to decide, and that's what Christ comes down to, right or wrong, what way are you going to live? You know, what are you going to hold to? Holding to Christ, you know, blesses us, brings us salvation. But the issue is Jesus Christ. And you've got a long time to decide. You know, most people have a long time to decide whether they want to follow Christ or not. God bless you.